right, my friends, so energetic, energetic boundaries, energetic standards, what we are energetically available to. So as you guys know, everything is energy. Energy is energy is energy. Everything is energy. The table that you're sitting at, that is vibrating at a specific rate. Your body is vibrating at a specific rate. Your lungs are energy. Everything, 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 my friends, is energy. And with that being said, we get to choose the energy that we are available for. We get to choose the energy that we say yes to. We get to choose what we are available to. We have created such an availability for being available to any portal coming through. Now this is what is called now and known now as the Newtonian way of thinking and creating. The Newtonian way of thinking and creating has to do with cause and effect. And so when we are so when we kind of like go through our day just basically going with the flow what we're going to be doing is that we're energetically available to anything happening in our life for the entirety of that day we're so energetically open and energetically available that anything can come into our field anything can come into our awareness it's the same in your business as it is in your relationship as it, as it is in your job as it is with your money as it is with life in general if we are going through life being like, I'm open to anything and all things coming towards me, well then we're going to come up against things that don't feel super extraordinary. Now in my life, I like to set these energetic standards for myself, but it goes beyond standards. It's these, it's like what I'm energetically available for. Now I'm not available to energy that is life depleting. If I go out, if I stay out too late, if I'm you know, moving through my day, it's going to be really challenging for me to get back into the flow of things. And so I'm always trying to evaluate in my life and my business, what am, what am I available to? What am I available to? And when I can create what I'm available to, then it becomes really easy to know what I'm no longer available for. When we ask the universe, we ask her to bring in what we are available for. It means we're rewiring our subconscious mind to be able to navigate the spaces where we are going to be given what we want, where we are going to be given what we desire. Like it's our, like a, it's our navigation system, our, the subconscious mind where we decide what we're energetically available for. And then we start to look for only that. But we have to choose. Ultimately, it's my choice to decide what environments are going to feel really good for me and what I'm energetically available to versus what I'm no longer energetically available for. We just we want to be creating in a way that we are totally 100% aligned with what feels really good for us and healthy and of value to our highest good. And if you can start to get really discerning about what you are energetically available for, your life will shift your life will change, your life will move towards what it is that you really desire and what it is that you really crave. So if we can create those boundaries for ourselves, and then what is the one thing that we have? When, once we create those boundaries, those standards, the availability for something, then all we have is our word to be able to go through with that. If we keep saying we're going to do one thing and then we keep doing the opposite thing, how, are, how can we possibly have trust for ourselves? How can we possibly have trust that we're going to follow through with the things that we say we're gonna do if we never follow through with the things that we say that we're gonna do? So, what is it that you are available for in your life? And then, and then can, you, can you be honest with yourself? Can you give yourself your word that that is something that you're going to honor for yourself. That when you say you're only available for this energy, that you're only available for this in your life, you're only available for this amount of money in your life, you're only available for this, for love in your life, you're only available for like the most beautiful relationships in your life, then stop like cutting yourself down. Stop putting yourself in situations where you're repeatedly available for other things that are not respecting what you actually really truly desire to be available for because that doesn't help anybody especially yourself all right my friends so this is as far as i'm going to go with you for this saturday night 
and uh, my friends, I will see you very soon.